Hi guys and welcome to Excel VBA tutorial of a shuffle game. So let me show you guys how this works. Right here I have a numbers, number of clicks. So let's try to put this together. Supposing we decide to try and get it right. Let's see what's gonna happen. And there we go. Now we have a winning there well done you are well done you are a star there we go guys so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys welcome back to Excel so I'm gonna start by clicking on the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab all you need to do is click on file right there and let's go to options and inside the options go to customize ribbon right then customize ribbon you should be able to see your developer tab all you need to do is just click on it make sure it's checked and then click on ok there you should get your developer tab there select the developer tab and then select visual basic once that is selected click on insert and then select user form so the next thing you want to do now is let's set the size of this form I'm going to set that to approximately let's say 420 and uh, let's make the width I'm going to make the width 820 there we go now I will change this background color let's see a color let's just change that there and one other thing is instead of 420 let's make that 470 to have enough room now let's add some buttons here as the toolbox and I I'm gonna need 16 of those buttons just highlight that button I need 16 let's make that hundred by hundred hundred by hundred there now increase the font size let's see font right there let's see there we go and I'm gonna make that about maybe 28 yeah I think that might be a little bit too small 36 let's see if I enter uh, let's come straight to the caption enter 15 there. okay that's fine so the very first one is going to be 1 so all I'm just going to do now is I'm going to copy it across hold on to the control click and drag that's number 2 okay so I want to number it accordingly and this will be let's see this should be no that's four I want it to be three three here so that'll be three and this will be button number four right there so let's select it all I want it all to be orderly in total we need 16 of those so that should be a six no I don't want it like that I want five here so I believe you guys get the whole idea I'm going to arrange it all properly and make sure it's all in order okay let's speed that up all right all that is left for me to do now is just to number all of these buttons so I'm just gonna call that two and that will be three four and so on That's five six seven eight and that will be 15 why the last one there will not be number for that there that is it the next thing I would like to do now is let me add a text box so just draw it that much yeah that's fine and I will increase the font size of that very 
let's make it about 72 that is fine okay so what we want to do now before I continue let's save this file first so I'm going to save it as uh, let's call it I'm going to change these to Excel macro enable and I'll just call it number shuffle okay. right and I just save my file right in there. Make sure it's saved as Excel macro enable and click on save. That is it. The file is saved. The next thing I want to do now is I'm going to add. Let's go to insert and add a model. So, right in there, first of all, let's create a function. This very function is going to be known as empty, empty spot. Okay, empty spot checker right and my empty sport checker let's say is going to be by reference let's call that button one as command button there should be button there somewhere there we go that's the very first one the next one is going to be button 2 and it's going to be as command button as well so make this 2 and let's just close that off press enter so what we want to do is to use an if statement to check if button 2 is self dot caption equals nothing then we want button 2 to become button 1 that's all we just need to, to do in there we want button 2 let's copy that to become button 1 equals button 1 get rid of that change this to 1 and clear whatever content we have on button 1 let's clear that then come right down here and just enter and if so that's one of my very first function taking care of there now I'm going to declare another function this very function that I intend to declare I'm going to call that um, let's say solution solution checker enter parenthesis in there and make sure that is in the case of the solution checker that will be checking to see what we have on the user form so user form one that is it there user form one dot command button one equals one okay and command button 2 that be copy that paste that in here this one will be equals to dot caption dot caption equals 2 do we have dot caption here dot caption right so I'm going to copy this and just enter and in there Let's make this uh, case here. Yeah. Let's copy this. Oh, this should be two. Two, copy, paste. Right. Let's go. Let's just collapse that. And here I'm going to. Yep, yeah, that is fine. Then the next one is going to be and. Let's just copy all of this. So we have one, two, and three. So I need to change this one to three though. Change this to three. And this becomes three as well. And come right down here. It should be and there we go. So I'm going to use this opportunity just to speed it all up. And paste. And right there guys. So this is what I've done in here. If all of those 
buttons are arranged accordingly I just want you guys to see all of the codes this is what will happen you end up with this very messy box and end if okay so I'm just gonna move it this way so that's the rest of the of the codes so all of those buttons have to be has to be arranged in order from 1 to 15 for us to have a winner okay now that's the message box like I said earlier on and in here all I just have in here is for the form to display the following counter and I've also added a message that will be displayed straight onto the text box that's all I have in here now the next thing I want to do now is to create another function this is the function I'm just gonna call it shuffle and enter parentheses there case of shuffle I'm gonna use that to take care of the randomized okay right here first thing first let's declare the following variable uh, the following array and I've also declare a boolean as well okay so this boolean I've set the default the default value to false and the following variable I've initialized it with one and one okay so now the first part of my array is letter J so what I would then do is I'm going to now use a do while loop so right here let's take care of this with a do while loop okay do while letter I itself is less than 15 I want you to generate as follows or randomize as follows okay then so that's taken care of from here down here all right so the next thing we want to do is I will now assign every single array to each buttons right so on the form user form one dot button one equals array number one which is right here remember my array is 15 so a equals one two three and so on so array number a is button one two three four five okay up to 15 so that is or those are the functions i intend to use let's have a good look at the very function the first one is to check if either of the button is empty which is right here then the other one is to check if the buttons are arranging order okay and if they are arranging order this is what I want the system to do this what this one does is just to count how many clicks to get the button in order just count it that's all that's all about now when I go straight to my buttons each all right so let's come in here double click on that you see this button one look at button one beside button one is button two and beside it right at the, at the bottom of button one is button five so let's double click on button one so with the button one i would now call the following let's say call the empty port checker and in there let's assume we have we have command button one let's close that first let's copy this command button one comma and command button two is one is replaced by two and the same thing is going to happen to one is replaced by five one is replaced by button five okay in that case I want you to call my solution checker there we go there that's for button number one so let's see I've called this to check the move and this is my solution checker to see 
if the buttons are arranged in order so let's go back in here and take care of button 2 if I double click on the but on button 2 in the case of button 2 if you look at it I have 1 3 and 6 so which means if I copy all of these all this will be 2 2 and 2 and I have 1 three and six there that's button two taken care of let's come in a button as for button three we have two four seven so that'll be two four seven that is two that's three 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 and this will be two four and seven okay that is fine looking good now let's come back in here as for button four we have three and eight three eight double click come right down here paste that there so let's come right down and so that will make enough room that is just three and eight so get rid of this so that's eight and this is four. Four. Okay. So I believe you guys get the whole idea. So I'm now gonna speed this up. Okay, but if you look somewhere here where we have six is going to be the buttons beside this is two, five, ten, seven. Okay, in the case of seven we have three, six, eight, eleven and so on so let's double click on five so that i can take care of that i'm going to speed that up all right guys that's button five now taking care of and below button five is button six so let's come down here i have seven taking care of eight and nine now what I've done is I've also called my shuffle which is right inside this model here that is the shuffle I've called that right away so we'll get back in here so that is called and I've also initialized or declared the following global variable right up here look public counter or public count as integer okay that's button one button 10 11 12 i have button 13 14 15 16. the important part of it is for you guys to make sure these buttons are arranged you know that you can see one two three four check out the name numbers or the names five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay now decision time guys i'm just going to run it and see how it all looks like uh just before i run it let me show you guys one thing make sure you select the text box and in there we want where we have multi-line this very one make that true Okay, so let's run it now and see how it's gonna look like. Okay, five, seven, see, show me the numbers of clicks. So let's come in here and try to get things in order. We have two, that's one. All right, we have four there. So it's, it's actually showing me the numbers of clicks so far. Look at that. Okay. And that's how you create your own shuffle game in Excel using VBA. Okay. So all I'm just going to do with this now is to 
get it center the text all or the text content on it select it and look for a line text a line and get it centered and I think I'm going to increase the font size again to about let's see what do I have in here 72 let's make that about 80 and see how it's going to look like now I'll run it one more time Two, yeah, that's not too bad. So with that, guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this story. I suppose you guys enjoyed. So you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.